fist of fun, I've managed to track down another of those old forgotten faces from my past. So will you please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, it's the girl from my school who smelt of spam. Here she is. <laughs> The girl that smelt of spam. Hi. Hello, Richard. Very nice of you to have me on the show after all this time. Sit down, please. Now, uh, Thanks, if you remember, you yeah. sat at the back on your own in spelling, didn't you? Because no one wanted to sit with you. You uh, lived above the laundrette with your mum, and you had sort of yellowy, gingery, black, brown hair, didn't you? you remember? <laughs> yes. Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't know he was going to. Oh, all right. Oh, Stu! You, you, you touched the girl that smelt. <laughs> she touched you. Oh, you. I'm so child. So <laughs> pathetic, that is. This is, your, this is your guest that you've had on. If, if I could just interrupt yeah. you, Richard, I, I never actually did smell of spam anyway. You did? Oh, smell of <laughs> spam, spam, spam. I didn't, Richard. Spam! Spam! I didn't smell of spam. You did. Well, did you ever actually smell me? Oh, uh, no. If you went near you, you got fleas. I wouldn't even touch you. <laughs> Richard, I didn't have fleas, actually. Did. I think you'll find that the flea is a member of the Siphonoptera species of insect and is parasitic chiefly on rodents of See? the mammalian class. Rodents. Most larger animals that suckle their young are mainly free of flea infestation. Hmm. <laughs> well, you still smell a spam. <laughs> I didn't, Richard. It was just that... Because I wore glasses, had slightly unusually coloured hair, and my mother... Who could... looked like a man. Yes. <laughs> Who happened to look like a man. Yeah. Couldn't afford to buy me a proper school uniform that you all picked on me. Is that really something so clever to mock? Smell! Stop it. Stop, it. Stop, it. Stop it. Right. Oh, she doesn't smell of anything. She doesn't smell of anything. She, does. she doesn't. Well, there's not, you know, surely the only point of having the girl that smelt of spam on the show now is for you to ask her, you know, what she's doing today and not just to go on at her like you used to 20 years ago. It's pathetic. Yeah, all right, all right. It is. All right, so what are you doing these days, the girl that smelt of spam? <laughs> Apart from smelling of spam, all of right. course. <laughs> well, Rich, due to the taunts and cruelty I suffered as a child, I came to believe that I really was worthless. Through my teens, I looked for comfort in a string of meaningless sexual encounters. <laughs> I would commit the most degrading acts just for the few seconds of attention that it would bring. In the end, I had a child, Amy, who I loved. And she loved me too. But the authorities declared me an unfit parent and she was taken away from me. I don't know, right. me. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where she is. Piquet, come on, come on, Piquet. If you just come out, if you come out here, come out with someone from the... Someone from the production staff. Well, well done, Rich. That's very good, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you're pleased with yourself for making that woman's life turn out like that. I hope you are. Yeah, well, it, it does seem bad, you know. Yeah. The taunting doesn't seem so funny now I'm 27. No. You know. <laughs> it's just childish, isn't it? Mm. I, I hope that any five- or six-year-old children who are watching the show tonight will <laughs> learn the important moral that I've learned tonight, that, you know, you should treat all your classmates as equals, no matter what their background or their appearance. That's know. really good, Rich. I'm really glad you've, you've managed to see that, because it was quite embarrassing. It's true. Yeah, what? <laughs> You're sitting in that chair. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> That's the chair the girl who smelt a spam oh, sat in there. Stupid. You get the stinking oh, spam disease. Oh. Ah, get away! Spam, oh, get away! You got the stinking spam disease. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>